Hello friends, welcome to my lab. In this video, I will show you the direct load test on three-phase quiral cage induction motor, and we have to plot the efficiency versus output, power factors versus output, power factor versus motor current, and torque speed characteristics curve. If you love my video, please like it and don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends. Let's switch on. So you can see this is our three-phase quiral cage induction motor. I have already shown the parts of a three-phase quiral cage induction motor in my previous video and you can find the link in description and you can see the motor is of 2 horsepower 415 volt 3 ampere 3 phase 50 hertz and the speed is 1440 rpm and this is the quiral cage induction motor and you can see this is the brake drum fitted with the shaft and there is a belt under the brake drum connected with this spring balance you can see the spring balance it can measure the weight up to 50 kg using this handle we can tighten the belt so that we can apply load on this motor you can see we can release and apply load like this if we rotate it clockwise the load will be applied and if we rotate in anti-clockwise direction the load will be removed so this is our motor and now you can see this is the watt meter it can measure the power up to 3000 watt we have connected the watt meter v terminal in 600 volt and the current in 5 ampere position so from the multiplication table we have the multiplication factor is 4 and this is our second watt meter it is the watt meter as just identical of the previous one we have connected it also the 5 ampere position and 600 volt so we have to multiply 4 with the reading and now you can see this is the power factor meter this is a 3 phase power factor meter you can see the range is of 0 0.5 leading to 1 and 1 to 0 0.5 lagging the connection of a 3 phase power factor meter is just same as the 3 phase watt meter there are two sides for connecting the two sides with the two different phases and one phase will be common the common terminal will be connected with the third phase now you can see there is an analog voltmeter and analog ammeter but we will use the multimeter as voltmeter and clip on ammeter as ammeter there is a start and stop push button switch for starting and stopping the motor connected with this three phase contactor module basically this is a direct online starter or doll starter i will discuss this starter in my another video before performing this experiment let's understand the circuit and connect it virtually so you can see this is the circuit diagram of our experiment first of all we have to connect the doll starter with the three phase supply next a three phase power factor meter is connected with the three phase supply first of all the blue phase is connected with the m terminal of the one side of the three phase power factor meter then the v terminal of the same side is connected with the same phase just like this next the red phase is connected with m terminal and the v terminal of the same side is connected with the red phase next the first l terminal of the three phase power factor meter is connected with the m terminal of the watt meter and the remaining l terminal of the power factor meter is directly connected with the m terminal of the watt meter now the mc terminals of the watt meters are sorted and then the three terminals of the stator is directly connected with the L terminals of the two watt meter just like this you can see we have not connected the yellow phase with the stator itself or any other terminals so we will connect the yellow phase directly with the stator and now the remaining terminals of the three phase power factor meter that means C terminals and V terminals of the watt meters are directly connected with the yellow phase to measure the load current we will connect an ammeter with the any one of the phase or we can use the clip on ammeter for measuring the current and we will use the multimeter as voltmeter for measuring the line voltage across the two terminals of the stator next the rotor of the squirrel cage induction motor is directly coupled with a brake drum and the brake drum is fitted with the brake belt connected with two spring balance for measuring the load applied on the rotor here you can see there are only three terminals on the motor terminal box that is red yellow and blue color terminals and it indicates three different phases input and you can see the three phase power supply is coming from the board and we have connected it with a three pin socket for three different phases 
the cables are coming out from three different phases you can see the neutral terminal is kept open because it is not used in this test one phase is directly connected with the input terminal of the panel another phase is connected with m terminal of the power factor meter and the third phase is directly connected with the second m terminal of the power factor meter now the first l terminal of the power factor meter is connected with the m terminal of the first watt meter you can see the m terminal of the watt meter and mc terminal of the watt meter is sorted from l terminal now it is connected with the r phase of the power supply input just like before the second l terminal of the power factor meter is connected with the m terminal of the second watt meter mc terminal of the watt meter is sorted and l terminal of the second watt meter is now connected with the third input phase of the panel now the remaining first and second common terminal of the power factor meter is connected with the remaining phase that means yellow phase in the panel we have connected the v terminals of the watt meter that means 600 volt v terminals of first watt meter and second watt meter is connected with the remaining phase that means yellow phase or y phase the remaining v terminal that means 500 volt terminal of the power factor meter is connected with the same phase m terminal just like this and the second v terminal that means 500 volt second terminal is connected with second m terminal of the power factor meter as shown in the circuit diagram so this was our connection for the 2 watt meter with three phase power factor meter with the motor and you can see we have connected three terminals of the motor with the three terminals of the motor terminal box now we will use a digital multimeter for measuring the voltage across two different phases that means it will measure the line voltage and using this clip on ammeter we will measure the current intake by the motor at different load and we will set the position into 20 ampere position and this is the ac voltage position now we can start the motor and perform our test and we will use this non contact type laser tachometer for measuring the speed of the motor and you can see there is a white color tape is stuck on the shaft of the motor it will sense the rotation of the motor in rpm just like this we will hold this tachometer in this position and it will run and it will measure the speed and we have to keep a water bottle filled with water for pouring the water into the brake drum for cooling purpose now we have to turn on the three phase main mcb and you can see the indicator is glowing and just turn on the panel mcb the three phase power is connected with the panel and we can start the motor by pressing this start switch you can see the motor is running at no load condition as the brake drum is free you can see there is no load is applied into the brake drum the no load speed of the motor is about 1496 rpm the fast watt meter reads the value in negative direction that means the power factor is lagging and second watt meter reads the power is 16 to 4 that means 240 watt and the power factor showing in the power factor meter is too much lagging that means below 0.4 and the voltage is 394.4 volt and the current is about 1 ampere now this is the reading at no load now we will apply some load by rotating this handle 
and you can see the kg indicator is going down that means if the amount of load is applying slowly at about 2 kg of load the speed of the motor is just reduced and the speed is 1470 rpm the second watt meter reading is about 70 watt and the first watt meter is now also lagging and less than zero and the power factor is also lagging the voltage is 393.8 volt and current is 1.02 ampere and we will apply some more amount of load and you can see the speed is now decreasing you can see the load is about 6 kg and at this situation the speed is about 1486 rpm the first watt meter reading is 0 and second watt meter reading is about 110 into 4 that means 440 watt the power factor is now improved and this value is about 0.56 and the voltage is 393.4 volt and current is 1.2 ampere by applying load the drum is becoming hotter so we will apply some amount of water into the brake drum and we will apply some more amount of load and you can see the load is about 8 kg and second spring balance is reading 0 that means differential weight is 8 kg the speed at this load is about 1475 rpm the first watt meter reading is positive that means about 25 and second watt meter reading is about 125 and the power factor is now improved that is 0 0.65 and the voltage is 392.8 and current is 1.32 ampere we will apply some more amount of load now at 10 kg load the speed is about 1470 rpm and the first meter reading is about 50 and second meter reading is about 150 watt now the power factor is about 0 0.7 voltage is 390 and current is 1.5 we will apply some more amount of load and at 12 kg of load the resultant weight is 12 kg and the speed is reduced and it is about 1463 rpm the first watt meter reading is about 60 watt second watt meter reading is about 170 watt and the power factor is 0 0.75 lagging voltage is 390 and current is 1.75 ampere now we will apply some amount of water and you can see the steam is coming out from the drum that means it is too much hot for cooling we have to use more amount of water into the drum and we will apply some more amount of load and you can see the speed is now reduced to 1446 rpm and this is the full load speed of the motor the first watt meter reads about 70 watt and second watt meter reads about 200 watt and the power factor is improved up to 0 0.78 and voltage is 388 and current is 1.97 ampere we will apply some more amount of water for cooling our experiment is done and we have to take different reading at different load 
so that we can plot a good quality graph now we will release the break drum by removing the load and we will keep this motor at free running we will keep this motor at this position for some time for cooling down and we will apply some more amount of water for fast cooling we have to cause us while we using this water to the drum the motor is to be properly arched after some time we can now stop the motor by pressing the stop push button switch and you can see the motor is stopped so you can see this is our observation table for the experiment of the load test on three phase quiral cage induction motor we will fill up this observation table after taking measurement and calculation and we have to take the reading of this quantity that is the line voltage the line current the power factor that is cos phi the watt period readings that is the w1 and w2 and the spring valence that is s1 and s2 in kg and the rotor speed in rpm now when a small amount of load is applied on the motor then the line voltage is 402.5 volt the line current is 1 ampere the power factor is 0.35 and the reading of the first watt meter is 10 watt in negative direction and the second watt meter is 90 watt and the resultant of the two is 80 watt and the multiplying factor is 4 so the wattage is 320 watt if one of the two watt meter shows the reading in negative direction or the reverse direction then we have to interchange the polarity of the m and l terminals that means we have to interchange the current coil or pressure coil and the value will be taken as negative next we have to take the reading of the spring valence in kg and the resultant load is calculated and that is in kg now the rotor speed is measured by using the non-contact type tachometer that is 1485 rpm as the synchronous speed of this induction motor is 1500 rpm so the percentage slip is the difference between synchronous speed and rotor speed to the synchronous speed that is 1% now we have to calculate the value of the torque that is 1.4 newton meter we know that the torque is the cross product of force and perpendicular distance and force is the multiplication of mass and gravitational acceleration and the perpendicular distance is taken as the radius of the brake drum we have already measured the mass that is the brake load applied on the rotor that is 3 kg in this case and the gravitational acceleration is taken as 9.81 kilogram meter per second square and the radius of the brake drum measured by using a steel rule that is 0.05 meter or 50 millimeter so we have calculated that the torque in this case is 1.4 newton meter now we have to calculate the output power the formula for the output power is 2 pi n into t divided by 60 here n is the speed in rpm and t is the torque in newton meter we can easily calculate the output power by put the rotor speed in rpm that is 1485 and the torque is 1.4 newton meter that is the output power will be 217.71 watt and finally we have to calculate the efficiency of the motor and it is the ratio between the output power to the input power so you can see the calculated efficiency is 63.03 percent now you can see we have applied different loads on the motor and taken different readings and from this data we have to plot a graph between the efficiency versus output power this is the power factor versus output power this is the power factor versus load current speed versus torque characteristics and finally the sleeve versus stock characteristics and you can see the brake drum belt is torn some amount of so we will replace it after some operation the theory portion of this experiment the observation table apparatus used and other details are given in my website you can find the link in description the website is www.electricalnotebook.com for more videos like this you can subscribe this channel and share with you your friends and write your valuable comments in the comment section 
टिल देन स्टेट्यून विथ आस जय हिंद जय भारत